Today, the Victims' Rights Foundation's Youth Division, under the uh, leadership of Andrew uh, Artis, will have a press conference and rally to talk about racism in our community, primarily the schools. Uh, Andrew will talk about what happened at Walt Whitman High School with the noose drawn on a wall in the N-word. But we have from Churchill High School a leader that's coming to talk about the problems last year where there were actually some students paying people money to use the N-word. And then we have a student leader from Montgomery Blair High School coming that will talk about some of the racial incidents in the Silver Spring area. So the idea is to, to bring forth to the public some of the issues that are happening with our young people as they attend school, but on the larger scale, to talk about justice, especially as it relates to uh, police uh, violence, again, mostly young uh, African-American men. It's 4.30 p.m. today, which is June 18th, at the Montgomery County Council office building. We're gonna be on the steps, so we're outside, and the idea is after we have our press conference, maybe we will walk around the courthouse and around the county office building uh, with our chance, and, and maybe not. We'll see how it goes. But we expect a lot of youth leaders to come. The bottom line of this for our organization, the Victims' Rights Foundation, which has something like 800 or so adult members, is to train our young people to take over in the, in the next couple uh, decades, let's say. Because all of us will retire, but we need to have someone to replace us. Greg contacted me about organizing a rally to issue a reward for the people who did the graffiti, but the people, the students who did the graffiti turned themselves in just yesterday, or that was when the official statement was made. And so we then had to change it a bit to kind of just make an open discussion about racism in the community and racism throughout the area then kind of get the word out from different perspectives of various people in our community. When I first went to Whitman, I thought it was going to be very diverse and very, I thought I was going to be proud to say that our school is very progressive and forward thinking. But in my freshman year, one kid was called the N word just openly. And we had an incident, we had a rally and stuff to do with that. We had speakers come to talk about that but then the year after we then had someone do blackface and put it on their social media and they didn't they took it down once someone told them how wrong it was so they didn't even acknowledge that and then just this year we've had two incidents of graffiti one in march and one just last weekend and so for me i've just been kind of disturbed by how like how much like how relevant racism still is even though we are like we are in a community that does have the education, does have the tools to truly see what has happened, but a lot of people just aren't using them. A lot of people just think it's too extreme to just like go into the history and look through things that have happened in the past, and so many people just choose to ignore it. I also want to thank the Montgomery County Police for their quick uh, arrest. Uh, within a week, I think, or somewhere like that, they were able to make the arrest. And we want to compliment them because as we work and try to help victims, uh, no matter what it is, we need law enforcement to move quickly. So a shout out to the Montgomery County Police. Mm -hmm.